we can start this session this is the session of uh, inict previous year questions anatomy mcq questions discussion okay inict previous year anatomy mcq discussion so myself dr mona lisa i have done my md anatomy from armed force medical college pune and i am here to discuss the previous year inict examination papers and mcqs so what are the features of special class which is there on the platform of fun academy the features of special class platform is that it's an interactive live session where the educator and the um, students and aspirants can interact among their self polls are uh, conducted and the learners are able to interact in the polls which will be uh, highly beneficial for them raise your hand and get your doubts cleared right itself when the session is going on never miss a session always present for the session what happens if you start seeing my session and you start following my session you will get notification regarding that session so you will receive a notification uh regarding each and every session of mine uh, which is taken that is special session or uh, this uh, not only the special session but also the plus courses every all these can be provided to you lecture notes can be uh, uh, can be taken by you if the pdf notes is provided once the session is finished anytime anywhere read from the top educators of an academy platform i also want to tell you that uh, today i have taken two free sessions 6 pm and 7 pm those who have missed out they can see the session and for seeing the session you can use my code and add 10 as an unlock session and also for taking the subscription you can use this code and add 10 i also want to tell you about the plus subscription ss both live and recorded version nishant good evening nishant good evening dear learn from top educators of the platform and complete in live test and quizzes all 19 subject will be completed in a very systematic way study on the device of your choice and solve more than 25000 mcqs on the platform of an academy and very soon is uh, coming is the printed notes given to you on uh, the plus subscription of an academy with a subscription of more than 1 year iconic subscription wahan pe kya hota hai merging of both the prep ladder and the an academy platform workers clinical integrated essentials video lectures and dream team q bank 3 Namaste Satyajit Namaste QBank 3 can be assessed rapid revisions uh, snorts snapshots and present dream notes 2021 can be provided to you these are all benefits of the um, these are all benefits of the iconic subscription and for taking any of this iconic or plus subscription you can use my code and add 10 and you will get 10% discount if you use this code this will be highly beneficial for it Uh, for you go for it and uh, have the demo session seen in the special free platform of the academy i also want to tell you that more than 25000 mcqs is there which is based on the latest pattern examination clinical mcqs of all 19 subject detailed explanation given by the top educators of an academy platform i also want to tell you and inform you about uh, the batches which is on the platform of an academy that is target neat pg batch of 2022 batch and also clinical case discussion batch which is started from 27th of the october so just grab this opportunity take the subscription use my code and get 10% discount so let's start all the best to everyone so yes can we start with the mcq session all the best so these are the mcqs of the previous year so let's start quickly the discussion the mcqs of the previous year so let's start with the first mcq lesion can you see arrow marked area here in the image okay so lesion of the marked structure which is shown in the image could lead to which of the following features so uh, it is leading to ipsilateral pa paralysis of palate and pharynx ipsilateral paralysis of uh, or atrophy of the tongue ipsilateral facial palsy or contralateral hemiplegia So all of you, please give the answer in the poll. All of you, please provide the answer in the poll. So the poll starts now, and we will start with the poll. Four options are there. You have to mark the correct answer. Your time starts now. All the best to everyone. This is the question of 2019 AIMS. This is the question of 2019 AIMS series. so yes uh, many of the students has given the right answer 60% students has given the right answer okay great so yes the correct answer here is contralateral hemiplegia contralateral hemiplegia is absolutely correct what is this location dear what is this location can anybody tell me what is this location this is the location of pyramidal decussation this is the location of pyramidal decussation So yes, ipsilateral palate and pharynx not because palate and pharynx is involved by vagus nerve. Ipsilateral atrophy, hypoglossal nerve not, and facial nerve is also not. The correct answer will be pyramidal is involved. So pyramidal decussation is there. 
so here in the lower part this is the specimen this is the area of pyramidal fibers decussation which is involved and this will lead to contralateral hemiplegia this is the pons okay here you can see the optic tract and the optic chasma and optic chasma this part is the pyramidal decussation this is pyramid <clears throat> this is olive <clears throat> and in between pyramid and olive in between pyramid and olive here is the hypoglossal nerve uh, here is the 12th cranial nerve which will come out emerge out in between olive and that of inferior cerebral peduncle 9 10th and 11th cranial nerve will emerge out through ponto medullary junction which nerves 6th 7th and 8th cranial nerve and through the pons 5th cranial nerve so uh, so the third and fourth cranial nerve will emerge out so fourth from the dorsal aspect fourth from the dorsal aspect fourth from the dorsal aspect of the mid brain and third cranial nerve from the ventral aspect of the mid brain yes absolutely right dear nishant so yes so we have done with the first mcq of inict examination and we have got the correct answer let's move on to the next all the best blood supply of the marked structure given in the image can you see arrow marked structure this is also the 2019 mcq no this is 2019 or 2020 so you have to identify the um, uh, arrow marked structure which is shown in the image and you have to tell me which of the following artery is the blood supply internal carotid artery vertebral artery anterior cerebral artery or middle cerebral artery question number 2 mark the correct answer your time begins now Yes, yes. Again, sixty-seven percent students has given the right answer. So yes, it's the anterior cerebral artery. Previous year MCQ, so already uh, I am most of the questions uh, you must have solved. I have taken few of the previous year INICT papers also. So anterior cerebral artery, yes, it's absolutely correct. Actually, the anterior cerebral artery branches, the central medial branches, the central medial branches. the central medial branches of anterior cerebral artery is forming the blood source or blood supply source for the fornix which area is this this area is the fornix which area is this fornix okay so yes absolutely right c is absolutely correct answer let's move on to the next one that is question number third mark this is again the question of 2019 aim series aim entrance examination so all of you can see the marked area green color marked area can you see here this is the green color marked area with a black arrow it is marked so you have to tell me this structure is related to which of the following liver second part of duodenum stomach or spleen question number 3 your time starts now <clears throat> Yes, forty-two percent students has given the right answer. Forty-two percent students has given the right answer. Great, Nishant is leading. Great one. So actually, this area is related to spleen. Okay. So actually, this is the left kidney and this is the right kidney. So why this is the left kidney? Any idea? Inferior vena cava. This is inferior vena cava. So inferior vena cava is more closer to. right kidney and also the triangular suprarenal gland is right one and semi lunar shape of the suprarenal gland is left suprarenal so the correct answer is d correct answer is d so in this mcq you have to tell uh, the anterior relation of left hand side kidney and on the lateral left hand side the anterior aspect of left kidney is related to that of the spleen stomach is not so um, satyajit stomach will be slightly medially it is laterally see here this area okay this is the area of the stomach and i have pointed here so this will be the better answer spleen okay spleen so stomach is slightly medial so more laterally is the spleen is it okay satyajit see here the comparison of the area related 
so right supra gland and left supra gland superiorly as shown in the diagram second part of duodenum on the anterior aspect as you can see in the uh, diagram second part of duodenum right colic flexor coils of jejunum as shown and here you can see that stomach is on the anterior aspect but it is lying anterior to the spleen here we were more laterally can you see satyajit is it okay spleen is more laterally spleen uh, relation is more laterally so i will go with spleen as the better answer below it as you can see close to the hilum area this is the pancreas region and below coils of ileum and jejunum that is common to both of it so we will have the correct answer here the spleen this was also the question of 2019 aims entrance examination this was 2019 aims entrance examination question so let's move on to the next that is question number 4 identify the marked layer in the given histological slide identify the green color arrow marked layer is there so you have to identify the marked layer in the uh, in this histological slide question number 4 is it outer plexiform layer it is inner plexiform layer outer limiting layer or the inner limiting layer so you have to identify the uh, name of this layer in this histological slide so this is a histological slide you must be knowing only by seeing this uh, feature so your time starts now and mark the correct answer question number 4 this is also for the question of 2019 so yes 50 percent students has given the right answer 50 percent students has given the right answer so jp is leading followed by nishant and dr shurya okay so the correct answer is inner question number 4 the correct answer is b that is inner plexiform layer inner plexiform layer is the correct answer question number 4 it's the inner plexiform layer so my dear aspirants let me give you the brief explanation of this histological slide this is the histological slide of retina this was again 2019 aims entrance examination mcq so here you can see this green color area which is shown here with the arrow is the inner plexiform layer and to prove it let me show this image this was the image so this was exactly the histological slide which has been shown to you so those who have made a mistake quickly see this slide and have a revision of all the 10 layers of all the 10 layers of retina so innermost is the if you will see uh, it's uh, starts from uh, so we will come from so outer se agar retina ki taraf jayenge to outer more uh, me kya hai cornea sclera then is the vascular layer that is the choroid so the junction of retina and choroid is marked by which layer can anybody tell me the junction of choroid and retina is marked by bruch's membrane bruch's membrane uh, yes absolutely right it's by bruch's membrane mm, retinal pigment epithelium is shown cuboidal then we have got layers of uh, rods and cons okay then we have got the nuclear layer that is the nuclei of rods and cons nuclear layer is formed by the nuclei of rods and con then we have got the plexiform layer that is the synaptic layer inner one is by the bipolar uh, neurons and then the inner plexiform layer is the synapse between the ganglionic cell layer and that of the layers of the bipolar neurons then we have got the big ganglionic this is the big ganglionic layer this all axons will together form the nerve fiber and the 10th one is internal limiting layer so this is the whole 10 layers of the retina as shown in the histological image and the layer which has been asked was the inner this one so the hint is how you are going to identify i will tell you in this case can you see two dark bands are there this and this so this clearly means this is a nuclear layer and this is a nuclear layer and you already know in between the nuclear layers we have got in between the nucleus layer we have got plexiform layers p for plexiform or the synaptic layer so here this is the outer part this is the um, pigment layer okay of rods and cons this shape is rods this shape is like a rod so that will be inner plexiform and this big can you see this big structure this neurons are of bigger size so this is ganglionic this is ganglion cells of bigger size so clearly we get this as a inner plexiform layer those who want a more elaborate explanation 
so this all layers has been marked here but if you want to see more schematic diagram i have also included the histological explanation from d furious histology pdf so see here d furious histology is giving you a better view for the all the layers of the retina so you will download the pdf and you can have this review you can see all the layers in a systematic way so clearly rods and cons are there pigment layer so you can see blood tinge this layer is having blood why blood is there because this is the layer this is having more of the blood because this is the choroid or the blood filled layer that is the vascular coat of the eyeball it's the vascular coat of the eyeball which is seen here and we have got the nuclei of rods and cons this is the nuclei of the bipolar cells this is the synaptic and this is the this is the outer synaptic layer this is inner synaptic layer this big one is the ganglionic cell layer this is inner limiting layer so have a look and compare both the slide and you will clearly those who have made a mistake will have the clear picture of that this is the b inner plexiform layer is it okay everyone can i move to next one next mcq is it okay with everyone okay let's move on to the next one that is question number 5th all the best okay injury to the marked nerve can cause which of the following can you see red color arrow has been marked in this cadaveric image the cadaveric image you can see a red color arrow marked area so you just tell me that what is the clinical presentation if this red color structure is um, injured whether it will cause loss of sensation of hypothenar muscle loss of sensation over the dorsum of the finger tips loss of sensation on the nail of the index finger and loss of sensation on the fourth interdigital cleft question number 5 mark the correct answer your time begins now okay so this was also the question from the aims entrance examination the same question was asked so yes let me see how many of you have marked it right so 40 percent students has given the right answer 40 percent students so who is leading jp is leading with four correct out of five great one jp is leading so let me explain it so my dear aspirants for for a better view and explanation uh, so this is the structure which has been uh, arrow marked so actually this is the median nerve this region is cubital region so let me have a clear view so i would like to have a zoom uh, i will zoom this diagram is it okay so yes my dear aspirants uh, how you are going for the correct explanation so first thing is it's very clearly you can identify this structure so everyone what is this structure can anyone give me the answer what is this structure i am talking about this extension let me use a highlighter for it bicipital aponeurus is absolutely right it is given by jp and maf is absolutely right my dear aspirant it is bicipital aponeurus is absolutely right absolutely right so we know that bicipital aponeurus is so now you know that this is bicipital aponeurus and you clearly know that bicipital aponeurus is directed in which direction it goes towards radius or ulna board it is directed towards medial or lateral side absolutely right it is going towards the medial side ulna side so this is the medial end absolutely right now this structure which is very close to it this will be the tendon so what is this structure this structure is the biceps tendon this is biceps tendon okay so and this will be the radial nerve rn for radial nerve so my dear aspirant this structure will be this structure will be this structure will be median nerve the medial most structure and adjacent to it there will be an artery and which artery is this this is the brachial artery here you can see it is dividing into ulnar and radial branches so this is brachial artery this is brachial artery so which nerve is injured now you got the answer this was the arrow mark structure what was the arrow mark structure this was the arrow mark structure and we clearly know that this is medial nerve ye kaun sa structure hai this is medial nerve and what is the clinical presentation if the medial nerve is injured medial nerve is supplying lateral part of the dorsum of the nail buds three and half of the nail buds lateral aspects so yes now we will go to the options loss of sensation question number 5 the correct answer which i have marked is c loss of sensation of the nails of the index finger so yes nails of the index finger that lateral three and half on the dorsal aspect 
of the nails is getting innervation from median nerve so c is the correct answer that is the reason let me show you another diagram see this this diagram here these are the nails these are the nails if you are seeing the nails my nails are very small so theek hai then also this is my dorsal aspect so this is dorsum aspect of this is dorsum of our hand and this is palmar so nail burst that is 3 and 1/2 lateral 3 and 1/2 of the nail burst what is the innervation my dear aspirants it's by the median nerve it's by the median nerve so median nerve is the correct answer palmar aspect mein uh, this is the median nerve ulnar nerve is the medial aspect and laterally median nerve so everyone is it okay with the explanation can i move to next mcq theek hai question number 6 let's move on to question number 6 all the best for question number 6 got it okay satyajit which structure is found to be related and crossing this arrow marked area which is the structure dear question number 6 mark the correct answer which is the structure and what is the structure which is crossing this structure whether it is obturator sciatic pudendal or inferior rectal four options are there and go for the right one Eighty percent students has market right. So who is leading? Nishant, JP is leading. Okay, great one. So the correct answer is pudendal nerve. Yes. Question number six. The correct answer is C. That is pudendal nerve. Is absolutely right. So let me give you a better view of image. So you can see here, this pudendal nerve is traversing from greater sciatic notch and then it is passing towards the ischial spine. So it is pudendal nerve is correlated to dorsal aspect of ischial spine. ये कौन से एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इशियल स्पाइन पे रिलेटेड है इट इज रिलेटेड ऑन टू द डॉर्सल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इशियल स्पाइन एंड देन इट रीच इज द लेशर शियाटिक फोरामेन वेयर इज इट इज ट्रावर्सिंग इट इज ट्रावर्सिंग टू द लेजर शियाटिक फोरामेन देयर आफ्टर इट विल एंटर इनटू दिस कनाल व्हाट इज दिस कनाल एलकॉक्स कनाल और प्यूडेंटल कनाल व्हिच इज एक्सटेंडिंग व्हाई इज एलकॉक्स कनाल फॉर्म व्हिच फेसिया स्प्लिट्स Which fascia splits to form Alcox canal or pudendal canal? What is the answer? Which fascia? Obturator fascia splits and through it traversing is the deep peroneal nerve, inferior uh, nerves, uh, nerves, superior peroneal nerves are all given here. So is it okay, everyone? So the correct answer for question number six is C. So we have done with this. Let's move on to question number seven. All the best. So this was the question of 2020 AIMS entrance examination. 2020 AIMS entrance examination. Identify the arrow marked area in this cadaveric image. In this cadaveric image, the white color arrow marked area. Can you see this white color arrow marked area? This area. So you just tell me which is this area? Is it laryngeal inlet? Is it piriform fossa? Is it epiglottis? Is it airy epiglottic fold? Okay, this was again AIMS entrance exam 2020. So your time starts now. Mark the correct answer. Question number seven. Okay, what a great performance! Ninety percent students has marked it right. Absolutely right. The correct answer is piriform fossa. The correct answer is piriform fossa. The correct answer is piriform fossa. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Piriform fossa is absolutely correct answer. Actually, this is airy epiglottic fold and epiglottis, and this will be the laryngeal inlet and lateral. Actually, it is a lateral food channel. Which is the piriform fossa. So, a bit on either side. When we are talking about on either side of the laryngeal orifice, smuggler fossa. Absolutely right. Yes. On either side, in the earlier times, जब smuggling किया जाता था from outside, we um, then the uh, many of the smugglers will put the precious stones in this lateral food channel that is called as piriform fossa. So, it is called as smuggler fossa. Also, when we eat uh, fish and bones, can stuck in this area and it can cause injury to the laryngeal nerve and the uh, it can anesthetize this area so piriform sinus smuggler fossa 
bounded medially by airy epiglottic fold and laterally by thyroid cartilage please see the boundaries also so uh, please see the boundaries also sometimes repetition of the mcqs come so you should also know the boundaries of pariform fossa it is bounded medially by airy epiglottic fold laterally by thyroid cartilage and by the thyrohyoid membrane this is the diagram which is showing you the whole boundary of this pariform fossa airy epiglottic fold is lying medially laterally is the thyroid cartilage thyrohyoid membrane this is the larynge view this is another view epiglottis this is the epiglottis attached to the posterior part of the tongue this is the tongue posterior part this is median gloso epiglottic fold this is lateral this is median gloso epiglottic fold this is lateral gloso epiglottic fold this space which you are seeing which i am crossing it is called as vallecula posterior to it is the epiglottis the laryngeal cartilage and lateral to it this triangular space is the pariform fossa this is the pariform fossa pf for pariform fossa so yes done with this can we move on to the next mcq everyone let's move on to question number 8 all of the following are the contents this is again the question of 2020 aims entrance examination 2020 All of the following are the contents of carotid sheath, except common carotid artery, internal jugular vein, static chain, or glossopharyngeal. My dear aspirants, which is the correct answer? Question number eight. Content of carotid sheath. Always we are uh, just knowing three contents, but there is more than that contents also. So see here, I have included all that uh, 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 that literature part also. Your time starts now. Yes, fifty-six percent students are correct. So who is leading? Nishant is leading, followed by JP. Okay, JP and Nishant, good. Sympathetic chain. Actually, sympathetic chain is lying posterior. It is on the posterior wall and posterior aspect of the carotid sheath. All other structures. So we already know that carotid arteries, common carotid artery, internal carotid artery, internal jugular vein, and vagus nerve. These are the three structures which always resides, which is also always covered by carotid sheath. which is the anterior layer of carotid sheath which fascia forms the anterior layer of carotid sheath and no which fascia i want to know the fascia anterior layer of ansa cervicalis is embedded in the anterior wall which fascia pretracheal yes absolutely right satyajit pretracheal fascia is lying anteriorly which fascia is lying posteriorly which fascia is forming posterior wall for carotid sheath yes absolutely right who is this jp absolutely right jp mr so he is absolutely right and all of you are absolutely right i got an answer from vidya 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 also yes it's the prevertebral layer and uh, we have got anterior wall mein ansa cervicalis embedded hota hai but this is the common structure which is formed as the content what is it internal carotid artery common carotid artery the external internal jugular vein vagus nerve and a part of recurrent laryngeal nerve but my dear aspirants Now please note down the relation also internal jugular vein lies medial in the relation of inter in the relation of carotid sheath internal jugular vein is medial vagus nerve is posterior posterior between the two vessels okay now other than that so please note down this is important for your mcq and here you will get the answer in the upper part of carotid sheath when we are talking about the upper aspect of carotid sheath it is also containing what it is containing my dear aspirant is also containing ninth cranial nerve it is also containing 12th cranial nerve it is also containing 11th cranial nerve got it so it is not only so please note down it is not only containing the vagus nerve but it is also containing the glossopharyngeal nerve the vagus nerve the 11th cranial nerve and the 12th cranial nerve that is called hypoglossal nerve ansa cervicalis is lying in the anterior wall of the sheath and it is formed by descendant hypoglossy and descendant cervicalis got it everyone so yes so we have got it down uh, see here in this diagram you can see uh, let me zoom it so i am zooming it can you see here roots of ansa cervicalis anteriorly hai 
posteriorly this structure is sympathetic posteriorly this structure is sympathetic trunk sympathetic chain okay so yes so we have to rule out one answer so the best answer to be ruled out is c sympathetic chain let's move on to question number 9 which type of fibers is this is again the question of aims entrance examination 2020 aims entrance examination 2020 which type of fibers is present in fornix whether it contains association fibers commensural fibers or projection fibers whether it is containing association commensural fibers commensural and projection so which combination of fibers is important question number 9 mark the correct answer four options are there and you have to give me the best answer the time starts now for next so what happened many of the students has got uh, confused so only i have got 16 persons so only azam dr sanjeet and shrishti has given the right answer only three of you have given the right answer so okay not to worry i will tell you my dear aspirants i know that uh, uh, many of you must think that it is just a projection fiber so please note down for next major component is projection fiber fornix major component is projection fibers if i talk about the composition of fornix okay so we know that the fibers of fornix is major component is projection fibers why it is called as projection fibers because it is forming a connection between hippocampal fibers to that of mammillary body mammillary body which is a part of limbic system associated with the recent memory emotions limbic system is more concerned which part of the brain is concerned with emotions limbic system so in that part fornix is forming an important association from the hippo hippo campus and that of mammillary body so the major component of fornix is projection fibers that is clear but when i am talking about the other fibers actually fornix major component is projection but it is also having few fibers are commensural what is that that is actually connecting one hippocampus to the other hippocampal commissure the name is hippocampal commissure which is also called as commensural fibers of fornix which is connecting one hippocampal one hippocampus to that of other hippocampus what is association actually some fibers of the fornix will go in upward direction some fibers of the fornix will revert in upward direction will pass through the upward direction and will go above the splenium of corpus callosum it will go above the splenium of corpus callosum and get connected to which structure it get connected to cingulate gyrus cingulate gyrus so this part is called as association fibers so all of you this was the question asked in 2020 aims entrance examination fornix is just not an example of projection fiber it's an example of association fiber it's an example of commensural fibers this fibers which is connecting the cingulate gyrus is not crossing so it is example of association fibers the fibers of fornix which is connecting uh, uh, the one hippocampus to that of other it is commensural fibers and the fiber which is connecting it to the mammillary body is example of projection fiber so clear can we move to the next question number 10th all of you yes let's move on to the next question number 10 how, how this is again the question was asked in previous year aims entrance examination heart pack contains keratinized submucosa minor salivary gland Keratinized absent submucosa, minor salivary gland, non-keratinized. According to you, which combination is the right answer for question number ten? Your time starts now. You have got four options. You have to mark the right answer. Question number ten. Mark your answer. The poll starts now. So yes. What have you start? Question number ten. Mark the correct answer. Okay, so what happened? Any of you have marked it wrong? So only ten percent students has given the right answer. Ten percent students has given the right answer. Mafiz and Doctor Sanjeet, Doctor Sanjeet and Mafiz only they have given the right answer. So we have got Nishant leading with followed by JP, followed by Vidyanta, followed by Kavlaski, Mafiz, Sachin, the Rajat, Shristi. 
tick all okay so many of you so get the correct answer is a keratinized actually this was again the question for previous year aims entrance examination please note down heart palace is a keratinized epithelium it is also having some mucosa layer and it is having few minor salivary glands so exact uh, uh, histology is a is correct here you can see this is the slide of heart palate where actually palate part is also connected to the part of bone so can you see here this is the b for bone this is the sub mucosa layer this is the l, l for lamina propria layer and can you see here this epithelium is multi layered and very thick it is stratified squam as keratinized epithelium it's a keratinized epithelium please note down Let's move to the next. That is question number eleven. Is it okay? Let's move on to question number eleven. Okay. Thrombosis of posterior inferior cerebral artery causes which of the following? Question. Uh, this was also asked in two thousand nineteen. It's a easy one. I think most of you will give the answer. Whether it is Weber syndrome, lateral medullary, lateral medullary medial, or the none. Four options are there for question number eleven, and most of you are going to make it right. I know absolutely. So, fifty-eight percent students has given the right answer. Nishant is leading, followed by JP, Mafaz, Rajat. Okay, so the correct answer is lateral medullary syndrome. Lateral medullary syndrome is also called as Wallenberg syndrome. Wallenberg syndrome. Okay, so we have got so many signs and symptoms associated with this. This is this is which uh, artery is involved? Posterior inferior cerebral artery is involved, which is a branch of vertebral artery. Now, so this image you can see here the lateral medullary syndrome and the structures which in you clearly about this moment so agar medullary syndrome of one part which of the medulla will be involved actually can you see this red color area this is the area which is getting blood supply from pica artery pica artery short form of posterior inferior cerebral artery short form of posterior inferior cerebral artery it is supplying the dorsal lateral aspect of the medulla as you can see here it is giving blood supply to dorsal lateral aspect of the medulla so the structure which is involved here it is giving blood supply to dorsal lateral aspect of the medulla structure is vestibular nucleus which is required for balancing the nucleus of tractus solitarius the nucleus of inferior cerebral peduncle for ataxia will occur balance uh, ataxia the descending fibers spinothalamic nucleus ambiguus that is the soft palate pharynx larynx also will be involved Okay, so let's move on to the next. That is question number twelve. Which of the following structure is a derivative of Richard's cartilage? Whether it is Stapes, Malus, Incus, Phenomandibular ligament. Again, the question of previous year. Question number twelve. Mark the right answer, which is the right one. Okay, question number twelve. Mark the right answer, which is the right answer. Question number twelve. Okay. So seventy percent students has given the sixty nine percent students has given the right answer. The correct answer is tapes. Tapes is the second arch. No, it's a derivative of the second pharyngeal arch. Uh, Richard's cartilage is also a derivative from second. These are all from the first. These malus incus and sphenomandibular is from the derivative of first arch. Second arch ka kaun sa hai? Tapes hai and Richard's cartilage is derivative of second arch. See here, cartilage of second pharyngeal arch is Richard's cartilage. Okay, Richard's cartilage is the cartilage of the second pharyngeal arch, and it is deriving. Which all structure is derived from Richard's cartilage? It is giving. Uh, it is. It is giving derived stapes, steloid, stylohyoid ligament, small hyoid bone, small corona of the hyoid bone, and the superior aspect of the body of hyoid bone. Please, all of you, do uh, all the structures which is derived from Richard's cartilage is starting from the word S. S. Stapes. Styloid process, stylohyoid ligament, small corona of hyoid bone and superior part of the body of hyoid bone. So let's start with question number thirteen. Which of the following structure pass through triangular interval of the arm? Five S. Yes, Nishan. Five S. Radial nerve, axillary, median, or ulnar nerve. What is the best answer? We have got four options, and you have to tell me 
the right answer. Triangular interval of arm, the time begins now. Okay, so we have got 44 person students are correct. Nishant is leading with 10 correct out of 13. JP, Muff is absolutely right. Which of the following structures passes through the triangular interval of the arm? So my dear Aspen, the correct answer is the radial knob. What is this space? This is Muff is, uh, 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 what you are telling? Posterior circumflex artery. Posterior circumflex humeral artery uh, is quadrangular space. That will be quadrangular space. Posterior circumflex humeral artery will be quadrangular space along with the axillary nerve. Yaha pe konsa space ki baat ho rahi hai? Triangular space of arm. Arm means here, so it in the relation of the humerus. So he is absolutely right. It is talking about lower triangular space. So the structure will be radial nerve along with profunda brachii artery. Profunda brachii artery, the branch of brachial artery. Absolutely right. Yes, absolutely right, dear. Absolutely right. It happens. See here. This is the quadrangular space. Yaha pe axillary nerve or profound posterior circumflex humeral artery. Ye lower triangular space hai, say radial nerve and profunda brachii artery. What is from upper triangular space? Upper triangular say circumflex scapular artery. Circumflex scapular artery, which is a branch of subscapular artery, which is a branch of subscapular artery. The same thing is there. Those who want to revise the boundary can see this image. Surgical neck of humerus. Lower is the teres major, long head of triceps and upper is the teres minor muscle. Quadrangular. This is quadrangular space. This is yeah. upper triangular and this is lower triangular. So all of you can revise the boundaries. You can download this PDF and can revise the boundaries if you have made any mistake. Okay. So can we move on to the next? That is question number 14. <clears throat> question number 14. All the best. Posterior longitudinal ligament continues as which of the following structure? Whether it becomes apical ligament, whether it becomes alar ligament, whether it becomes membrana tectoria or transverse ligament. Question number 14, what is the correct answer? Your time starts now. <coughs> So I also want to tell the students, okay, 54, that tomorrow I am taking five MCQ marathon series. 41% of the students are correct. 41. Who is leading there? Nishant is reading, leading with followed by JP, Rajat and Mafiz and GK. Okay, GK. Okay, great. So membrana tectoria is the correct answer. And tomorrow is Sunday. That is fun day with the MCQs. Okay. So we will have all these MCQs of anatomy. Quick revision of anatomy MCQs marathon, five MCQ session, just of 40, 45 minutes each with a break of 15 minutes in between, 10 to 15 minutes break. Hoga. So all of you do join. Okay. It starts from 2 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. So see here, posterior longitudinal ligament is situated within the vertebral column, extends from the posterior aspect of the body of the vertebra. Okay. It starts from the body of axis. Axis C2 cervical vertebra and there continues with the membrana tectoria and lower down the extension is to the, the level of the sacrum. It is going lower down to the level of sacrum. So this is the whole extension. Let me show you the image for it. So can you see the posterior longitudinal ligament? If I use, let me just zoom this. And you can clearly see this is the posterior longitudinal ligament which is shown here. And this posterior longitudinal ligament is extending upward direction becoming tectorial membrane tectorial membrane see here tectorial membrane going towards the c2 cervical vertebra c2 cervical vertebra so the correct answer will be so here the correct answer will be c membrana tectoria extending from it starts from the body of axis and continues down till the lower aspect of the sacrum let's start with the question number 15 all the best <clears throat> Q 
coraco humeral ligament is degenerated tendon of which of the following structures few research paper is also on this topic coraco humeral ligament is degenerated part of which of the following structure whether it is biceps uh, biceps brachii whether it is coraco brachialis whether it is pectoralis minor or whether it is latissimus dorsi four options are there my dear aspirants mark the correct answer your time starts now question number 15 <clears throat> so what happened 28 percent students has marked right who has lead it today nishant with 11 correct out of 15 what a great score jp with 10 mafis with 9 nana Nana with eight, Rajat with eight, GK with eight, uh, Vidya eight, Avi seven. Okay, great one. So why to uh, everyone has done and performed a very nice contribution. Great one. The correct answer is pectoralis minor and good uh, revision of anatomy MCQs as done here. Pectoralis minor is the correct answer. This was also asked in the previous year, so do remember this is a fact. Actually, a few research paper is there, and coraco humeral ligament, which is connecting the coracoid and the greater tubercle of humerus, is actually the degenerated tendon of pectoralis minor muscle. So, yes, C is absolutely correct answer. Now, my dear aspirant, before ending the session, to tomorrow's session के बारे में बता रही हूँ. Tomorrow is Sunday and 31st October. So, 31st October, the last day of October month. the sunday a very good day to utilize our time in a very right way so how we are going to utilize 2 pm session 3 pm session 4 pm session 5 pm session and 6 pm session so i have got uh, time on sunday so i am taking this free sessions so all the session will be just of 45 minutes each 45 40 45 minutes each and we are going to revise the anatomy mcq marathon anatomy mcq marathon so i want everyone to be present for it use the code anat10 all the students who are interested please do present use the code anat10 to unlock and uh, be present for this free session also i want to the students to tell them if they want to take the subscription they can use my code anat10 for getting 10% discount our first year going on finish on normal 20 satyajit okay your first year exam is going on first year pre final satyajit Satyajit, you are from which college? I think you are from Ames, na? Ames. Satyajit, yes. Ah, uh, you were present in my session for many times. Abi, बहुत दिन के बाद. Ah, uh, after. Um, yeah, Ames, Ames. Yeah, Satyajit. So all the best, Satyajit. Just rock it and perform very nice. Okay. So I have. Ah, uh, Satyajit was present for my session many times, and uh, you will definitely crack it. And I'm so glad that. you are university exam going on and then also you are here uh, for the mcq session so that is a great thing all the best nishant also all the best and many of the students uh, of previous year those who have secured a very gro a great marks nishant uh, was uh, have a great marks here so all the best here he has performed nice he has stopped his college nishant so nishant has stopped his college so the uh, congratulate him all of you and uh, give all the best to satyajit uh, till 25th november his exam is there 25th november so yes great performance now thank you thank you everyone do subscribe the youtube channel let's crack neat pg together let's crack the examination inict let's crack fmg exam all the entrance examination of medical fields okay all the best yes shristi thank you thank you shristi and we will meet tomorrow afternoon starting from 2 pm okay thank you subscribe and you can download the pdf notes if you want to revise all the mcqs so keep going all the best all the best to everyone all the best at 2 pm tomorrow session starts five sessions five sessions five sessions all the best keep studying thank you so much so exactly tomorrow let's meet at uh, 2 pm so take rest